Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Celebs. In today's video, we'll discuss most cringe moments from my 600 pound life. Let's get into it. There wouldn't be a post surgery makeover from my 600 pounds life's Robert. To carry all this weight is physically draining, mentally, emotionally taxing, Robert explained on his episode of My 600 Pound Life. It's not a pain or life I'd wish on anyone because I can't do anything. Despite the discomfort, Robert continued to make progress. According to the Asbury Park Press newspaper, his earlier difficulties with medicine and despair began to catch up to him. And he eventually stopped exercising before having a heart attack that ended his life. After the February 28, 2018 program aired, TLC made the announcement of his passing. On IMDb, a viewer expressed his or her thoughts. What a tragic story, he said, adding I wept at the end. Robert's fiance Catherine worked tirelessly alongside the doctor to restore Robert to a regular life. Unfortunately, he went away. On Reddit, I've gained another follower. Robert's story, season 6, episode 8, was the most heartbreaking for me since he went away in the midst of the story and his girlfriend was blaming herself. Oh my god, that really shattered my emotional state. Also, make sure to write your thoughts on all moments in the comment section. Robert Bouchel When Robert Bouchel's episode of My 600 Pound Life premiered, it was immediately apparent that he was in poor health. Dr. Now was quick to see that he weighed roughly 850 pounds and had a drug addiction to the medication such as the lauded. He also saw that he was addicted to cocaine. This was really important stuff for him to discover. After a challenging start, Bouchel gradually gained some control over his compulsive eating habits and was able to lose weight. An outpouring of emotion was shown to the Fork River, New Jersey native, including affection from his mother and his fiancée, Catherine. As a result of Dr. Now's guidance and a great deal of hard work, Bouchel was able to lose a significant amount of weight. Around 350 pounds if you include the surgical removal of a lymphedema mass and maintain that weight loss. That is just incredible. Unfortunately, Bouchel was left dejected and serious of resuming his use of painkillers as a result of the removal of the weight. He even went to the extent of tearing his sutures in the hopes of obtaining additional sutures. Bouchel had to leave the scene before the show ended because he was cringing throughout it. Dr. Now was not shy in expressing his disgust with the medical profession for its role in Bouchel's addiction, which eventually led to him grimacing in aggravation as a result of his frustration. He also complimented him on his ability to be a cringe lord, which he found hilarious. The Asante Brothers A few members of the cast of My 600 Pound Life are as well known as the Asante Brothers, with Steven in particular who played the lead role in the movie. Because of Steven's antics, he and Justin were not very close to one another, despite the fact that they were related by blood. For starters, he appeared to be adhering to Dr. Now's strict diet while appearing on the show, but he was covertly binging on bad foods in the background. Aside from that, he was willing to deceive and intimidate anyone, even his father, in order to have what he sought. Additionally, when recovering from his gastric bypass surgery, he did all he could to continue eating pills, including snatching Justin's tablets from him. Fans remarked that all of this was extremely cringy to watch for them. However, he was really popular. Due to Steven's cringeworthy behavior towards his brother's persistence and repetition, and according to Reddit AMA Justin participated in, has been going on since childhood, Justin decided to leave Dr. Now's program, despite the best efforts of both his father and Dr. Now to persuade him to stay. He also accused the program of blackmailing him in a Reddit post, which has since been deleted from the site via sarcasm. His current residence is in the state of Rhode Island, where he is at the time of this writing. Since then, Steven appears to have graduated from the program as he is now residing in Iowa and perhaps more astonishingly, according to Starcasm, he is married. Let's hope that they both receive the medical treatment that they deserve. What do you think about these moments from my 600 pound life? Which one was the cringiest one? Let us know in the comment section below. This brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you had fun watching it. Give us a like if you did and subscribe to our channel to stay updated. 
Also, activate the bell so you definitely won't miss any of our future videos. And watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you in the next video.